ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय हरे कृष्ण एवरीवन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू द समरी ऑफ चैप्टर 13 ऑफ भागवत गीता चैप्टर 13 एंड टाइटल्स नेचर द एंजॉयर एंड कॉन्शियसनेस सो इन दिस चैप्टर अर्जुन इंक्वायर्स फ्रॉम श्री कृष्ण अबाउट द कृति नेचर पुरुष द एंजॉयर क्षेत्र the field kshet nagna the knower of the field gyana knowledge and gyaya the object of knowledge shri krishna then explains that the kshetra is the conditioned soul field of activity of the body within it reside both the living entity and the supreme lord who are called kshetra kshetra gnya the knowers of the field the five great elements four ego intelligence the unmanifested the ten senses in the mind and the five sense objects desire hatred happiness distress the aggregate the life symptoms and conditions all these are considered in summary to be the field of activities and its interactions it is in bracket in the in text 6 and 7 gyan knowledge means understanding of the body and its knowers shri krishna enumerates qualities such as humility non violence tolerance cleanliness self control absence of false ego and even mindedness amid pleasant and unpleasant events that qualified as knowledge text 8 to 12 gyan the object of knowledge is the super soul prakriti nature is the cause causes of all material causes and effects the two purushas or enjoyers of the living entity of and the super soul a person who can see that the individual soul and the super soul remain unchanged throughout the various types of material body the successfully inhabit and is said to possess the vision of it by understanding the difference between the body and the lower of the body and by understanding the process of liberation material body one reaches the supreme goal shri aprabhu pad has written in the purport of the last text a very good summary of this chapter the purport of this 13th chapter is that one should know the distinction between the body the owner of the body and the super soul one should recognize the process of liberation as described in verses 8 through 12 then one can go on to the supreme destination a faithful person should at first have some good association to fear of god and thus gradually become enlightened if one abstract a spiritual master one can learn to distinguish between matter and spirit and that becomes the stepping stone for further spiritual realization a spiritual master by various instructions teaches his students to get free from the material concept of life for instance in bhagavad gita we find krishna instructing arjuna to free him from material consideration one can understand that this body is matter it can be analyzed with its 24 elements the body is the gross manifestation the subtle manifestation is the mind and psychological effects the symptoms of life or the interaction of these features but over and above this there is the soul and there is also the super soul the soul and the super soul are two this material world is working by the conjunction of the soul and the 24 material elements one who can see the constitution of the whole material manifestation as this combination of the soul and material elements and can also see the situation of the supreme soul becomes eligible for transfer to the spiritual world these things are meant for contemplation and for realization and one should have a complete understanding of this chapter 
with the help of the speech algorithm. So this is the end of the power code. Mm. And this is the chapter 13. Any comments, Prabhu? No, I think it's good. It's a tough chapter, mm -hmm. all about Gyan. <laughs> yes, very tough, very technical. Yeah, but it's good. I think yeah. Yeah, you read the good purport. Anybody? Purport, Sorry? This purport is a good summary of the whole chapter. So yeah. Really nice. yeah. Yes, it is. Very good. Thank you. Any questions, anybody? Okay, so we can go to the next one. I know, Prabhu, I have only this one for today. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem at all. So you're doing it as you're going along, huh? Yes, Prabhu. Wow, good, that's good. Okay, now we can stop. Okay. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Have a good day. Jai. Jai.